Hallelujah. Welcome to ADHD Whiskey. If you're new here, my name is Matt. Today is the eighth day of the Minnesota Whiskey Elite Blind Whiskey Tasting Advent Calendar of calendars that have to do with whiskey and tasting those whiskeys blindly. I'm gonna grab the eighth sample out of this box behind me. I'm gonna pour it into a glass, review it, score it, and then reveal its ass. I'm sincerely hoping that all of you out there aren't extra super sick of me already. And if you are, I get it. I totally get it. But I need you to keep watching. If you have to put me on mute, put me on mute. But you're already committed. And by clicking on one of these videos, you literally and figuratively signed a nonverbal contract with your fingers. Let's see what's great for day number eight. America. Ew, that's a dirty glass. Yucky. That's not gonna work. I'll do, donkey. I'll do. You will get a sentimental SJ when you're here. Order singing, let's be jolly. Deck the holes with bow holly. Color on this looks extra dark. This is an extra dark looking whiskey. This definitely has some age on it or some extra oak influence in it, or maybe it's finished, who knows? Going in for a nose of day number eight. Hmm. Ooh. Peppermint to bark. A Christmassy nose on day number eight. Like minty and nougaty. It's like a mint three mouseketeers. Some mint chip. Some rock chip in my windshield of a friggin' my truck. Son of a batch. A very fresh, sweet nose on here. I'm leaning towards a rye whiskey here with some age on it. Yeah, this smells like a deliciously baked rye whiskey. There aren't a ton of like super powerful aromas coming out of the glass, but there are some nuances kind of hiding in here in the depths of the whiskey that are slowly like coming up for air. And once they breach the surface, it's like, ah, I see you. This whiskey needs to be warmed up a bit. The warmer this whiskey gets, the better it smells. I always used to talk about how a warmer whiskey was a better whiskey. The colder it gets, the less aromas and flavor it has. But if you can bump the temperature up on it a few degrees, then the whiskey relaxes and takes off its shoes and scarf, unbuttons a couple top buttons, puts its arms up on the couch, and all of the smells come out of a hard day's work. Isn't that right, little whiskey? Now that I'm putting my nose back into it after it's elevated in temperature a little bit, I'm starting to pick up on maybe a toasted note or maybe a secondary barreling. Reminds me of a gymnasium that just got a fresh hardwood floor. Let's put it down the chimney on day number eight. Cheers. That is a powerfully delicious rye whiskey. Very oily, an immediate punch of flavor as soon as it hits the palate, just like kabam. It's like if steroid era Mark McGuire just drilled you in the face with a charred oak Louisville slugger infused with rye whiskey. In the face! I can't tell if this rye has been aged for an extended period of time or if it's been re-barreled because there is definitely some barrel influence on the palate of this. But since rye whiskeys can get so unique, it's hard to tell where the rye ends and the barrel starts. There is like a tar-like flavor on the back of the palate and I don't know whether to attribute that to the whiskey itself or to the barreling of the whiskey. It is very enjoyable though, it is a very enjoyable pour. Third sip maybe seems to get a little crafty. The more I taste this, the more flavors are exposing themselves. If you like a good strong rye whiskey, something that's like gonna really hit you with a powerful rye punch, this is gonna be right up your alley. And it receives a blind score from me today. They, they have the advent calendar of Bordering on good and very good, it is a 7.4. 7.4 for this day number eight of the advent calendar sent to me by the Minnesota Whiskey Elite. Elite. What were we drinking? Only one way to find out. On day number eight, we were drinking Shaw Traverse City Whiskey Co. Straight Rye Whiskey, Barrel Proof, eight years old. Picked by Bourbon and Banter and hosted by Ace Spirits. Eight years old, 118.8 proof, Traverse City, single barrel rye, uh, 
If you haven't had these Traverse City rye whiskeys and you love a rye whiskey, these are phenomenal. As a matter of fact, one of my favorite rye whiskeys I ever tasted was at Mr. Michael Klein's house. And it was a Traverse City Whiskey Co. Barrel Proof Rye. I honestly don't know if they source their rye whiskey or if they produce their own, if they distill their own. Very good, very good rye pick. I think these go for like usually around 90 bucks or so. Don't quote me on that. That's gonna do it for day number eight. If you're counting like I'm not, that means there are exactly 17 days left of this calendar. We're just getting warmed up. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being a subscriber. Thank you for hitting the thumbs up and just thank you for being you. You glorious, glorious human being. My name is Matt, this is ADHD Whiskey. Like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on shopping on Amazon for just fun shirts that don't breathe well and stink as soon as you put them on. It's made of solid gold.